first, let's look at what a concussion is. A concussion is a type of traumatic brain injury, or TBI, that can change the way the brain works. An animated woman stands at a whiteboard in front of a classroom of students. An illustration of a brain appears on the board. The brain is composed of three interlocking gears. Four arrows point to the brain as it begins to flash red. Then several lightning bolts appear throughout the brain. A concussion is caused by a bump, blow, or jolt to the head. Concussions can also be the result of a fall or blow to the body that causes the head and brain to move rapidly back and forth. The brain of an illustrated boy appears on screen. The back and the front of the brain light up as his head rocks from back to front. A school bell rings, and the woman is now standing in a hallway filled with students. Even what seems to be a mild bump to the head can be serious. In fact, most concussions occur without any loss of consciousness. Children are among those at greatest risk for concussion. Thousands of children are seen in emergency departments each year for concussions. Children's brains and bodies are still growing, and an injury to their developing brains may put them at risk for more serious injury or long-term developmental problems. The brain of the illustrated boy reappears along a timeline. An arrow pointing to the timeline reads, Injury to Developing Brain. The timeline begins at age 11. The boy and the brain grow in size as the dot on the timeline slides from left to right, increasing to age 30. Several sections of the brain flash red. An arrow pointing to this area of the brain reads, long-term injury. The potential for a concussion is increased when children are active. A graph appears on screen. The x-axis reads, resting and active. The y-axis reads, potential for concussion. A white arrow curves upward to the right along the graph. An icon of a running child glides along this arrow. Such as during PE class, playground time, or sports. However, concussions can happen any time a student's head comes into contact with a hard object, such as a floor, desk, or another student's head or body. Concussions can also happen as a result of a fall or motor vehicle crash. Several animated students run through a school gymnasium. The word crash appears on screen. Two students, with stars and exclamation points above their heads, sit and stand beside a teacher who blows her whistle. While the events that lead to a concussion may sometimes be dramatic, concussions themselves are harder to see. Let's learn more about concussions as an invisible injury. The woman stands in the school gymnasium. A note card appears on screen that reads, click the next button to proceed. An orange arrow points to the lower right corner.